And a big story we're following tonight. A one year old is dead. Two people are facing murder charges in connection to that little one's death. 21 year old Kia Moore and 34 year old Dijon Smith are accused in the crime. WRG's Quimicha Wilborn has what investigators say caused the child's death. And we do want to warn you tonight. The details in this case are disturbing. 21 year old Kia Moore and 34 year old Dejan Smith are facing child abuse and first degree murder charges in connection to the death of a one year old baby girl. Memphis police say around 3 a.m. Saturday morning, they responded to La Bonner Children's Hospital for a call regarding an infant who arrived suffering from cardiac arrest. The baby died one hour later. MPD says an examination by a doctor reveals the fatal injuries include multiple skull fractures with a brain bleed, a bruised kidney, high enzymes in the liver consistent with abdominal trauma, and blood in the lungs. Police say the incident happened at this duplex in the 1000 block of University Street. Court documents say the two had been babysitting the infant for about two days prior to it being taken to the hospital. However, people who live in this area that we spoke to tell us that they never saw or heard a baby during that time. Did you hear a baby cry? Uh uh. I ain't hear no baby cry. Upon arrival, police say there was no baby food in the home, and it's unclear if the one year old had an appropriate or safe place to sleep. At this time, it's unclear how the child is related to the suspects. Both Moore and Smith were detained, but investigators say they gave conflicting statements. Moore claims she left the baby alone with Smith, and when she returned, the baby was unresponsive. She says Smith refused to tell her what happened and instead allegedly told her to say that she fell asleep holding the child when the child fell off the bed and hit her head on the nightstand. It's a story people who live near the couple find shocking since they say Smith has children of his own. And his son, like I say, he got a son just out of kindergarten. Smith reportedly told a very different story. He claims that he heard the baby crying in the back room and more yelling at her. Court documents say he told investigators that he could hear more slam the child against the floor, walls, and wooden furniture six to ten times. He said when he entered the room, Moore told him the baby was crying too much and getting on her nerves. We spoke to one neighbor who lives next to the couple, and she says she never heard anything. And then you really can't hear too much through the walls. Not too much, you know, you have to be extra loud to really hear something. Smith said he attempted to perform CPR and put cold water on the infant, but she was still unresponsive. He said Moore told him that the baby fell off the bed and hit her head on the nightstand. Neighbors say they are heartbroken for the baby's family. Memphis, okay, this is Memphis. Memphis is rough, Memphis is tough, but we ain't that tough to hurt kids. Hear anybody being killed is awful. Whether it's a baby or a 90 year old, don't matter. Life is a life. Reporting for your news leader, Kwamitra Wilborn, WREG News Channel 3. A troubling case there, and both suspects are due in court tomorrow morning.